Prosecutors now say fireworks were being shot in the area, but it's still not clear what led three Jersey City police officers to open fire. This all happened while the officers were on patrol at a housing complex. The two men shot remain in the hospital. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live in Jersey City with the latest. Tony. Uh, good afternoon, ladies. Yeah, we've learned a little bit more from the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office, but not much more because they say this is still a very active investigation, still in its early stages. In fact, more representatives from the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office just showed up moments ago. Yes, this started with fireworks and ended with three officers firing their guns. 12 hours after the shooting, investigators are going over this area very meticulously. This is just beyond Randolph Avenue and McDougal Street. They're looking through grass. They've marked bullet holes in houses. According to witnesses, last night, just after 1015, at least two or three people were firing off fireworks, rockets, and Roman candles. The noise apparently prompted someone to call 911, and police arrived. Things went south. We don't know the intricate details yet, but witnesses say police began firing. Two people were hit, a 21-year-old man who was still at Jersey City Medical Center and a 19-year-old who was released this morning. He nor the people he was with spoke to Eyewitness News as they were getting into a car. We did, though, talk to one man near the scene who says he saw most of the altercation because he was there watching the young men with the fireworks before police arrived. What I saw, I don't know if he pointed it at the officer or not, the, the skyrocket things, mm -hmm. you know, and that's how everything really escalated. I didn't hear the gunshots. My girlfriend said she heard seven. She said she heard seven shots. The prosecutor's office confirms that three Jersey City police officers were patrolling the area. They were assigned to the housing patrol unit, and all three discharged their guns during this incident. And uh, talking about still active, we still see investigators out here collecting evidence. They're still uh, talking to witnesses. In fact, the 19-year-old apparently told his family that he didn't even realize he was shot. They say he thought that he was hit with one of the fireworks that were being fired off. And then later he saw police and realized he was shot and then somebody drove him to the hospital. So a lot of questions with this incident still need to be answered. We will have much more for you later on Eyewitness News.